things Work to the good of them that I call according to his purpose All things Work to the good of them that I call that I'll call that I'll call Man, my voice is kind of going that was, that was pretty harsh I probably should have lowered it an octave make sure I could hit those notes Anyway, or change the key. I guess it's more appropriately change the key, not lowered an octave. That would be like, oh, dude. Anyway, but my, that's not the... That, that is near relevant. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, today, uh, I, I recently just did a video, but I'm going to do another video right afterward. Like, that may be two videos. I'm good at math. <laughs> Yay. Um, this one is about uh, <clears throat> how Christians should see faith. And I recently talked to this UFC fighter, which I talked about in my last video. Uh, his name is Alex Dugan. He's he's never he just got signed, so nobody knows who he is. I'm hoping he does well, so that way I go, I know that guy. Because if he does really well, I'd be like, ah, I know that guy. <laughs> but if he does poorly, then this is his lonely fight. I mean, if he loses this fight, he's out. But anyway, well, I hope he does well. I hope he does well. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> go Alex Dugan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's from Boston. Um, <laughs> I need to stop. I'm, I'm like totally, I'm totally nerd. Uh, I, anyway, um, I, I'm banning out. I, anyway, it's, as you can tell, I'm a big martial art fan. Anyway, ah, uh, moving on. <clears throat> so, anyway, we were talking, and I had made. He, we were talking about like what religion he should follow, and what 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 church he should go to, and and what things he should be doing. And I was like, dude, I'm like, forget all that. What matters most is that you believe all scripture. And I told him that one of the most important things when learning all scripture is that you have to be taught. And this is the hardest part about going to become a, a believer is that you have to be taught. And that's hard because no church has it all right. So you need people out there to teach you what the Bible says. So what do you do? Well, this is what you do. You have to go to places that will teach it. Um, there are certain churches that t teach a certain truth. And I, and I use this, this fighting metaphor. I don't know if anybody out there knows martial arts because I'm, I'm kind of a, a dork about it. I, I love martial arts. One of the things in martial arts is, is that if you're in mixed martial arts, you need to know how to freaking grapple. Usually, jujitsu is default standard. Standard position, you want to learn how to fight you have to know jujitsu if you get up on the ground jujitsu is your best bet there are other forms that work but jujitsu is probably your best bet when it comes to when it comes to religion your best bet when dealing with <clears throat> your foundational fighting technique uh, is jehovah's witness bar none uh, jehovah's witnesses rock at kicking trinitarian butt they will womp i mean if you're talking about straight up straight up Massive organized religion. The best one for it is Jehovah's Witness. Another one. After Jehovah's Witness comes, uh, I would have to say, well, if you go into fighting, you have what is known as Muay Thai. Muay Thai is the clinch fighting. You get up there, you get up, you smash faces with your elbows and knees, and get kind of in the mix, mixing it up. Um, I would go. I would make that like an unto uh, Messianic Jew. Uh, they are Trinitarians, though, but they will teach you the Torah, which is important to know, especially if you're going to be a Christian, because you should know the Torah if you're going to be a Christian. Um, and uh, let's see here. What else is there? Oh, and you should know about the spiritual gifts. And the biggest problem is that most religions don't focus on the spiritual gifts except for hugely Trinitarian ones. Oh, it's so bad. And so, like, uh, Pentecostal, uh, Baptists... Those guys focus on the spiritual gifts, but they barely touch on it. So it's like, I can tell you where to go that'll give you good foundations, but you have to, once you get those foundations, leave and figure the rest out. But you have to be taught first. Um, also, I don't know of one that'll teach you that Jesus Christ is pre exist There is no pre-existence of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ existed only in the foreknowledge. He didn't exist physically or tangibly. Because it says that uh, to say that Jesus Christ did not come in the flesh is blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Um, so Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. He did not have. He did not exist in the spirit. He he existed only in the flesh. 
Everything physical. If you're a human being, you only exist in the flesh. To say otherwise is blasphemy. Anyway, it, it makes you the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist. Anyway, this is really long. Uh, I will I will talk at you later. So uh, you know I love you know I love uh, God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Um, so pick the right church uh, and don't stick with any. I'm um, seriously, they're all messed up. But uh, you have to learn from somewhere. So I got my videos. You can listen to my videos. Anyway, I uh, will talk at you later. Peace, love, and grooviness forever. Wazzah!